Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this Playwright tutorial, I will be sharing you a very good browser extension for the Playwright so that you can easily record and generate the test. So let's begin. If you are using Playwright for the automation testing, so probably you are using the Playwright code gen in order to generate the test and for the locators. So those who haven't know about the Playwright code gen, so simply what you need to do is that in the terminal, you need to type command and px space playwright then a space code gen and then you need to provide the url of your application so simply copy this one and paste it over here and press enter so it will open the browser and you will see this kind of a playwright inspector window so whatever the exchange will perform what it will do is that it will record the proper steps so it will actually just like a selenium id where you can record the steps so it will record all the steps with the locators so there are different options in order to locate you know, even for the session so everything is within this particular playwright code generator now what if i told you that you can exactly having the same thing in the browser so that you don't need to you know open the code chain again and again during your project you hear me right so let me close this one as of now so simply what you need to do is that you need to the, go to the chrome browser and what you need to do is that you need to go to this extensions over here click on the manage extensions you will be here on this particular page from here just click on chrome web store so this will open a new tab over here and here what you need to do is that you need to search for playwright playwright C R X and this is the extension which you need. So if I click on this one, so you see that this is the beauty of this particular extension that you have a code gen within the browser, right? Just like a code gen, you just need to use from here. The options are pretty much similar. You can record, you can have this one. So right now this is already installed on for, on my browser. So what you need to do is that if you're using for the first time. You need to install this one and after installing you will be having this kind of icon over here right so what i will do is that uh, simply go back here and let me copy the url from here and already you see that i have some test over there for this particular source demo and what i need to do is that again go back to the browser and open this url and once you open this URL, just click on this particular extension. You see that now you have exactly code gen interface over here. It's just like a code gen inspector within the browser. So you click on anything, it will capture exactly the same details. Same details, provide the username. If I type something over here, like standard underscore user so you see that exactly what i am doing is capturing everything right so you can click on this one to record again this one for picking up the locator if you click on this one if you need to pick a locator for any specific element just click on this one you will see the locator so this particular session pretty much works in the same way just like code gen within the playwright but this works inside the browser so you don't need to open the Playwright code gen again and again for locators or recording any specific scenario. So what I'll do is that uh, I have captured already few locators over here. And if I go here, so this particular locator over here, you see that this is pretty much same. It identified the same locator, though this is generated from this particular extension. And this is using the code chain. So you see that the exact same locator is being used for the, for the username, for the password. Even this is a login button. So if I click on the login button using this one. So let's see. So if I click on record and click on this one. So page.locator data.test login button. Right. And if I go here. So this is here, it actually 
captured by role but here it gives the locator right again because this is not an official playwright extension but this is someone who developed this thing keeping in mind that it should have a pretty much same look and feel so that you can work inside the browser instead of going to this one so simply what you can do is that if i go here and like provide the username provide the password and let me provide the password so let me copy Let's now copy this Freud secret underscore source and click login. So you see that application got logged in successfully. You simply need to copy from here using this one and simply go here and simply let's let's suppose if I create a new file like playwright crx dot spec dot js and you simply need to paste this one and you can run this one so in this way you can use this extension and again features are pretty much same like for the locator then you have this assert visibility for example you want to do a session for this particular product or you see that after login there should be a product so click on this one so you see that the assertion is over there expect page or located this to be visible right so we have assert text then we have assert value so and then we have finally the assert the snapshot of this particular page and pretty much similar options uh, from this side so we have record we have the pick locator then we have assert visibility pretty much same options over here besides that we have copy options we have to pause this one we have to move a step ahead then we can toggle between the color like this white or the dark mode then we have this test runner so if you want to generate the code for any specific programming language for example you are using java so click on this one you see that it's a junit code ready for you if you are using PyTest, click on PyTest. Now this PyTest code is there. And if you go here, if you're using uh, .NET, so MS Test, click on this one. So you will see that MS Test code is there. So simply copy this one and paste in your file. And then obviously if you're using the page object model, so you can modify the objects and every actions accordingly. But this is a very good start. It will help you to save time instead of opening the playwright code again and again. Simply what you can do is that you can open this in a separate browser. In parallel, you have your VS code or any ID where you are writing your code. And you can work in parallel and you can do the automation quickly instead of opening the playwright code again and again. 